Hi, I'm Maggie Harding. Today we're going to make an Easter basket. We're going to use Graphic 45 Sweet Sentiments Collection. And I'm using a piece of Perfect Petals, and I'll be using the polka dot side as well as the floral side. I'm also going to be using uh, Spring Has Sprung, and I'll be cutting one of these strips, and I'll be cutting the Happy Easter strip out. Also going to use a tag from the tags. And I'm using a double edge, or I'm sorry, um, a deep edge punch from Martha Stewart. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can punch it any way you want, or you can punch it not at all and do something different. And I think that's all of the things that we're using, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cut a circle for the base of our Easter basket. And I'm going to use this handy dandy little circle cutter that I have. You want to cut a circle that is five inches. Okay, now that you've got a five inch circle, you want to cut, not cut, you want to draw a four and a quarter inch circle inside. A compass works good for that and you probably have a nice set of bowls that you can use so whatever works for you is good. Now the next thing I like to do and you really don't have to do this but I like to do it because it gives you a nice crisp edge when you fold it up. I like to take a stylus and go around the circle just lightly scoring the inner circle that I drew. Just score along the pencil line. Okay, now take your scissors and cut from the outer edge up to your pencil line. Say three eighths to a half an inch. Doesn't need to be scientific, just clip it all the way just to the edge of that inner circle. Okay, once you've clipped all the way around, fold your little tabs up. Okay, that is the base of our little Easter basket. Okay, now to make the sides of the Easter basket, you're going to need a strip of paper, two and a half inches by 14 inches. So you're going to have to piece and add on a little two inch piece, but we're going to put something over top of that, so that's okay. Oh, before we do that, I made a little template here by just cutting the circle and folding it like that so that I could see where the center point and the sides and so forth of the circle are so I could when I put my handles on I get them aligned perfectly. I don't see straight sometimes and I didn't want it to be wopsided. So I've marked the quarter points of the circle all the way around. Okay, now I'll fold those sides back up. I use hot glue to assemble mine. You know, hot glue can be kind of dangerous, so you might not want to use it. Just use some sort of fast drying glue. That's that's the important thing. Okay. I like to put it down on a flat surface as I glue it so that I know I'm getting the sidewall flush with the bottom. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'll try and turn it around there. I think I can do that. Glue your little edge here. 
that's it. You've got your side walls for your basket. Now, I'm going to use this greeting tag from the Sweet Sentiments collection. And I've already inked it, and I also did some fussy cutting, and I've already glued that behind so that I would have it all ready to go. And I'm going to position it over the part where we pieced the paper so that that doesn't show. Okay, and I think I'm going to use double-sided tape to adhere it. So I'm using score tape, which I really like because it's nice and strong, forms a really good bond. So when I put my tag on the base here, I want to be sure that I've centered it up so that when I put my handles on at the center points I've marked, they are in fact in the center. That looks pretty. Now I want to, and I could have put this on before, but I want to put a band around here that says Happy Easter. And again, that's, it's not 12 inch, it's not 14 inches around, but that's okay because the uh, tag there is, is taking up the two inches, so 12 inches is good. we go. You might need to curl your tag just a little bit. Okay, now we just need to add handles. Oh, and we're good to go. Okay, now and there we have it. A little Easter basket. Now you can embellish it with some flowers and stuff it with bunnies and just fix it right up. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.